Hello everyone and welcome, my name's Simon and we are The Wells of Wall Street. Today I've got a quick little gem here for you guys. Um, so I've been scouring uh, multiple social media channels as I do uh, every evening just to get a bit more research on projects and this, that and the other to identify extra information for our videos. And I came across a few people talking about this one a few days back. And I was quite interested by it because there's a lot of projects like this, uh, which we'll go on to in a moment's time. And I really do believe that this is a, a fascinating one that can really compete with all the exchanges out there. And as well as ones that we've just recently invested in ourselves and ones that you guys might have heard of in, in that aspect as well. Before we do that, let's just quickly check where we can get this token from. So we're talking about Clever, okay, C-L-E-V-R, that's K-L-V on the exchange, available on Qcoin, Gate, Bittrex and Poliniex. I don't really know that one personally, to be honest, but Qcoin is an easy one for me. I have that and I do have Gate as well. So hopefully you guys have got some of these exchanges if you were interested in purchasing or getting involved in this token, um, that is where you can get it. So let's go into a bit of an intro of Clever. So Clever is based around kind of like a wallet in your mobile phone, smartphone, but they're also building uh, the infrastructure for the exchange online, which we'll go on to in a second, because it really is quite amazing what they're doing in the background to be more beneficial and probably better, even than the mainstream ones that we know today so well. So we're going to a bit about that uh, at, at that time as well. Um, but let's just have a quick overview of this product. So as I mentioned, best all-in-one cryptocurrency wallet. So we've seen so many wallets out there, guys, like so many, okay? All having very similar consistencies and similar applications as each other. And that's really important to, to understand that, of course, they've got the fundamentals of this. But what makes it different is what I'm more interested in. And we'll go into a few bits of detail as to why that is. Um, as we go through this video. So Fundamental is basically essentially an exchange and wallet that you can get on your smartphone. They are delivering on the web exchange as well, as in before. Furthermore, I, do, I think they call it a credit card in other countries, but for us in the UK, I think it's more like debit cards. But yeah, it does say that you can buy directly in the app with a credit card. This isn't financial advice, and I don't really recommend using debt to pay for for things, uh, which is what credit cards are. Um, but I have a feeling maybe they were meant to say debit card. I have to double check that uh, for the next video, perhaps. Um, swapping crypto instantly, so very easy to swap intermittently uh, between different crypto assets that you have on your exchange or within your wallet. Uh, utilizing the KLV token to do so in terms of fees, which are extremely minimal. Again, we'll go into that in a second. But also uh, you can use KLV to purchase the crypto as well. Very similar to, of course, things like BNB uh, for Binance, K KCS, I believe, for KuCoin, uh, and loads of other ones on other exchanges, of course, very similar patterns, okay? So there's loads of aspects of the tokenomics which we'll move into as well. And of course, here as well, dApps, really important to understand. So you can utilize the apps within this. So it gives you the browser, kind of like what you do with Uniswap. If you go in Uniswap, you can use all the different dApps. So it's really cool to have all this funky integration, but furthermore as well, any new projects coming up or whether it be dApps or new crypto assets, you have an opportunity to mine and get involved in these application building programs, launch pad kind of things, utilizing the KLV token as a essentially a burning mechanism to contribute towards the, the essential launch of the project and they will get burned and you'll get the equivalent assets back in terms of that new asset class that's been made, if that makes sense. So we'll go into that a bit more as well. Um, and as well as that, of course, like self-custody wallet network. Now this is quite interesting as well, but they are also looking into doing um, a hardware wallet as well. This is in the roadmap, so I'm really interested to go through that as well. So that's a bit of a top line. Let's go into a bit of the key aspects of this. So we've already kind of explained uh, the app side of things, but there's, this kind of annoys me this page because you have to scroll down, but it's good, I guess, to see it from the, the other way around flip side. So of course they started in 2017, so quite a new company still in, in that aspect. The app was sort of integrated within 2019, desktop, etc. And we're now moving towards some really key areas, okay? So Ethereum browser support, very important. Um, and then different price charts, adding new crypto assets, which again, we'll go on to in the list format in a second. So what's coming up? They've done quite a lot of stuff in the background. So they've got the mining aspect in there, the exchange of browser, which we already mentioned, 
uh, that is in a beta stage, testing stage before a potential launch, I think, in this quarter or next quarter, that's for sure. So let's keep an eye on that as well uh, as we go along um, for that too. Uh, other aspects that they're improving is a clever idea. Again, we'll touch on that in a second. And loads of mainnet blockchain aspects being improved, utilizing their own technology. Hardware wallet, as we said, in the pre-sale coming up as well. So I think that's really important bank subscription, all of this stuff, we will go into. So there's loads of stuff going on, that's my point, is these guys aren't stopping, and they've got plans all the way through the next few years of where they wanna be with these aspects, and I'm sure they'll add to these as they go along. And by the way, this is very much applying to just the retail uh, trader as well as uh, the, the general trader out there as well. So there's, there's loads of really cool aspects to this project for both sides. As we mentioned, accessing your favorite apps, so you can utilize the browser within to do that. Play, trade, invest, collect, and receive rewards using DAP. So you can utilize all this KLV tokenomics and all of that through that as well. And then we looked into the labs mining, which we mentioned just a minute ago, incubating projects, as I mentioned, launch pads. So utilizing your KFA tokens to obtain into the pool that get burned, and then you get the equivalent value in the tokens of the new ones, or certainly, uh, the new finance tokens that are created out of this, including games, which I thought was really cool through the Moon Lab Studio, which is a really awesome project. Um, but new games, how cool is that? So if you, if you think that you're, you're into gaming or esports and stuff like this, and you, you sort of come across some games that you think, actually, this might be quite a big thing in the near future, you can get involved in that in that very seamless and easy, efficient way of getting involved in in uh, essentially investing in these these new companies. So as I mentioned here, will I receive my KLV again? Mining, no, because it gets burned. But you'll get the um, the amount varied based on the asset that you're going into. Then we've got the banking aspect. Um, so this is this is why I said in many videos before, like for Crypto.com, etc. Uh, of course, Crow is another. Uh, similar aspect. These exchanges, in my opinion, will become the new banks. There's no doubt about it. They offer the services of banks 10 times better. The service is better. What you can do is have more control and power. And that's the beauty of crypto de decentralization. And this is what it should be about. You being having the choice, provided it's within regulation, no money laundering, which is obviously kind of mainly avoided with smart contracts, KYC, etc. No fraudulent activities to actually switch and choose to what benefits you most, what exchanges benefit you most. That's how the world should be. And stop all this greed of the bankers and this, that and the other. So really cool. Uh, so your bank account can be integrated with the exchange. And you can, this is interesting. I have to, I'm going to ask them directly about this. So pay your bills and make transfers using cryptocurrencies. This is one of the things people say, oh, you still need a bank because you need to pay, pay your bills. And I thought, no, trust me, guys, like very soon it will be done through crypto. Okay. So I'm going to find out a bit more about this because this is really interesting. Pay your bills and make transfers using cryptocurrency. So I know you can do like payment, like through POS, like card machines and stuff. That's pretty, um, pretty worldwide at the moment as it is but i'm really interested to know if like i want to pay an electric bill or something that i can do that through tokenomics or uh you know some kind of crypto asset exchange uh if they're set up and i'm pretty sure more and more companies get involved in that imagine like your energy company saying hey by the way we accept this crypto and this crypto but actually it's even easier if they can integrate within exchange systems like a bank essentially would do with direct debits and swift uh processing and backs etc to do it for exchange in the sense that I have my account within the exchange and I want to pay with, I want to pay with Bitcoin today because I've got loads of that. Or I want to pay with this because the value's gone up and that sort of thing. So really interesting way how that's going to happen uh, for that. And then this bit as well in terms of the assets that are on there currently. So multiple 10,000 crypto assets supported already, including all your big ones that you can obviously think about. There's loads of stake and earn opportunities, both with KLV and also with other token uh, coin assets as well. Love the DAP browser, love the instant swap aspect. And what ones are next? I love this. So it shows you what ones are coming so you can get prepared and you can go, okay, I might, do you know what? I love this. I love this app. I'm going to move all my my ex assets from other exchanges across to this one because I believe in this this project or I believe in the staking opportunities, the reward opportunities, or I like that the KLV offers a better fee aspect. So it's, it's helping you go, okay, well, I've got some of these, but oh, yeah, actually, they haven't got that, but they, it's coming soon. So it's really cool, interesting things. And we'll go into a bit of the white paper now, which will emphasize on this kind of like three-step process that they go through to adding coins. I'm not gonna go through every single page, but I'm gonna pull out some really key information. So uh, market makers is important for the trading engine aspect. 
so this is essentially helping with supporting of like things like bid orders. So I think they uh, boast something like 3 million transactions per second. So it's great for makers or what they call like liquidity, liquidity providers. So yeah, traders and makers, very much good for them, reducing the risk, uh, adding efficiency in terms of the pricing, thus higher liquidity as well. So from a trader's perspective, this is a phenomenal exchange, phenomenal asset, and everything about the tokenomics, the fees, the speed, is what ticks all the boxes of these. And I could imagine, I can imagine more and more people moving away from like the big exchanges that we know today, like Binance, KuCoin, all this. Obviously they're very important for their own reasons, but these things are coming, it's almost like the development, it's like the smartphones, when the first one comes out, you know for a fact that the next 10, 15 years, it's gonna be even easier for them to bring out new ones and quicker and faster, better every time. These exchanges with blockchain technology, blockchain technology is not very old really, but the aspect of it is improving so fast. We're, get, we're almost getting ahead of ourselves where all these exchanges that we know and love are now can be essentially replaced. All this needs is marketing behind it and it can easily replace all these exchanges. They are This actually is by far better with the exception of the awareness and the amount of people that are on it, okay? That's the only two factors I've seen so far that can compare to them, okay? So let's have a think about that. Um, so yeah, of course the API, the model uh, mobile web is is being worked on. That's that's using uh, like foolproof basically exchange software program that they're building. Um, so yeah, there's very much a great aspect here uh, for traders. You've got um, them building on their microservices architecture, so helping with the reliability, the efficiency. They're making it more autonomous, uh, so very scalable as well. So that's very important for traders. Very important for the aspects of tokenomics and liquidity and how things fluctuate in supply and demand. Um, and also building that microservices help them with their fraud protection as well. So there's loads of aspects around the trading area. There's loads of aspects around the security um, of the exchange too. Um, and some other couple of pe experiences here that I've read about the guys that are developers, there's like over a hundred odd developers building into this, loads of people are founding it who come from the banking institution. Ask yourselves, why are banks are closing? Why we're going to cash society? And why are the old CEOs of these banks moving into these kind of exchanges? Because they know this is going to take over. You talk about R3 Corda, for example, XTC, Ripple. These are the new financial institutions for the world, guys. Like... If you don't know this or you don't know much about it, check out some of our previous videos on like XCC and R3 Corda, blockchain, financial institutions, cashless society. It's all linked together. All of these kind of exchanges are now backed or have people working for them that used to work in banking institutions for the last 20, 30 years. Follow the money, guys. Follow the money. So they have obviously got things like the... The SDK models to help improve the coding, the back end, etc. So allowing developers um, to, to help improve that system of the exchange, improve the training platform, intrude, including as well the artificial intelligence aspects of, of this project too. So there's loads of really cool advanced features that a lot of exchanges out there do not have uh, for that aspect. Uh, there's loads of information on the white paper as well about uh, fees and things like that, not just for uh, the VIP levels, which you can assume, assume of how many, how much money you're trading with. Most people are going to be on the regular, of course, but most people, if they're holding up to 10,000 or more USDT, they can be put into VIP bands and that helps with the reduction in fees. Some, even on the maker, don't even have fees on most of them because they're just transacting so much money. So those are those kind of things to anticipate as well. Uh, when adding new crypto assets, three-step process, basic information, listing information, and then payment. So this, they go for a thorough sort of check of crypto assets they add. They're just not doing things willy-nilly um, and making sure that it's right for their customers, right for the KLV tokenomics of swapping, exchanging, staking, etc. Uh, so I love that about it. Sorry if I'm going fast, guys. There's so much to go through. I've got lots of videos to do later this evening, but I, I wanted to get this one out there because I think it's a really, really cool exchange. Um, and I've downloaded it on my phone. It's fantastic to use, very easy, very simplistic. Um, and I love all the features on it. It's, it's, and I love all the jazzy colors that they put into it. It's, it's, it's like Exodus wallet. It, it encourages my mind creatively to really like it. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna finish off a couple of more of these points. So yeah, very much around the AI aspect, the KYC is very important, of course, from the security. So ID privacy, they're utilizing a company called if i just go back here jumio so these guys i believe have over 3500 different types of id um, and over 200 countries so extremely experienced so you know you're in good hands from the security privacy aspect 
uh, and the compliance through regulation uh, you know, requirements, etc., for that. Uh, and it encourages people because people always talk about hardware wallets. I know they're bringing out hardware wallets, but the security aspect of things like they have with uh, Clever Exchange uh, is absolutely phenomenal, both for the app. So they're really helping um, through the app of security using their Clever security modules, which is what they call KSM, not to be um, confused with KSM uh, consumer crypto asset, but very much stronger security signed codes uh, through the app storage as well as exchange. So there is a hardware wallet coming, but these guys have really adapted a security mechanism behind this to really encourage it. Um, so yeah, KLV token as well, before we kind of wrap up and go into the charts, show you a bit of the price movements and percentage increases since they started, etc. cetera. Um, very much important to understand the KLV, KLV token, as we mentioned, is for like the, the being used for mining uh, different new projects, used for the fees and transactions. It can also be paired to pretty much every single token that they have on their exchange. And of course, used as liquidity for other uh, tokens as well. So there's loads of really cool aspects to this project uh, moving forward. And I'm really excited because I think it's very early days. It's like what KS KCS is building towards. And that, that to be fair, KCS is a, uh, an improved price point at the moment because more and more people use an exchange. Look at BNB, how that's expanded because of the amount of users that use BNB and use it for the tokenomics to use on launch pads, to use on uh, pairings. And same for Crow. Crow is in early stages with its token and it, that will fly too. This is a perfect opportunity to join an exchange that is upcoming, that is going to be absolutely massive and get involved in the tokenomics at a price point of around four cents, which could arguably in five, ten years time be an absolute you know, staggering number, of course, uh, as more and more people use it. On that note, three million people have downloaded this app so far using the exchange. 150,000 daily active users. OK, that's a big number to start with a company that's so early. And I can imagine over the next couple of years with the marketing and the awareness that this is going to go into the millions. There's no doubt in my mind. From what I've seen on the, ex the exchange myself, personal use, and what I've seen in this white paper, what I've seen is the roadmap was really important to determine a project, in my opinion, when you're doing your research. And like I said, do your own research on this project. I'm not saying you should buy it at all or anything like that. We don't do sponsored videos here or anything like that either. I don't don't need that kind of money or don't need that kind of awareness. I do things because I believe in them and I think it will help the, the you guys out there in terms of the engagement in the community and everything like this. And that is what we're about. And I, when I see something that I'm passionate about it, when I'm excited about it, I want to know as much as I can about it and transfer that information to you guys. So hopefully you find this informative um, and go check it out. Like I said with the other previous video, like Proton. Proton is an exceptional project. Absolutely love that one. It's brand new. And it, you can see it's in a few years' time how it will develop. But more importantly, I want you guys to go and download this app. Go and have a look at it. Go and explore it yourselves. We're not saying go and buy the tokens, go and do this, go and do that. Go and see it for yourself. Read this white paper. Go through their website and, and accumulate in your mind, how is this going to benefit my life, both as an exchange and as a potential bank, but also can it help me gain some money in the, in the chart aspect? Of course, there's loads of multiples. For me, I do a bit of both with these kind of projects. I'm interested in the tokenomics and making money off that, but I'm also interested in how can I replace my existing banking system that is essentially corrupt, that prints money, that is part of a, a diseased system that has controlled and manipulated the world, created poverty, created war, all of these things. I don't want to be a part of that system anymore. I want to be part of a new system, but as long as it's regulated, as long as it's, it's factual and it's true to me and it's secure, I want the power back to do what I want to do with my money. And I want to be able to help others utilize this system, get into these systems more than the existing traditional banking systems. I've had enough of them and I'm sure you guys have as well. We want a fairer world. And if we're going to be sustainable, if we're going to be developing the world and we're going to be more diverse we have to have power back to the people okay within within regulation within other variables as well of course that make it fair and make sure that nothing bad goes wrong let's go into the chart guys before we do if you find this video informative please press that like button subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already and press that bell button so you get notified of all the awesome videos coming your way. So chart wise, there's not a massive historic data for, for this project on KuCoin back to February. Of course, we have the launch up here. Big staggering jump up to around uh, 16 cents from the initial launch pad of 0 0.007, so not even one cent 
to jump up to 16 cents. So actually quite phenomenal in the space of two months, maybe even one month. So we've had the correction down. This is kind of anticipated as people go, oh, this is boring. I don't know what it's about, blah, blah. I just followed the regime, et cetera, et cetera. Then you get to the more exciting points about where we are now. The awareness is going to build of this project. I'm keeping that in, in my mind as a, a particular variable in terms of price points. If I was to say, and this is not financial advice, guys, but if I was like, okay, I haven't got this project right now in my portfolio, which I, I have started to add as of this morning, I'd be saying, what's the good entry point? Now, we're in a bearish momentum with, with this project, to be honest, at this point, moment in time. We've had areas of positivity throughout, but there has been a bit of bearish momentum in a downwards downward slide. So if we take that as an example of like literally kind of like this top point here and how we are ending up here, obviously you can see visually now that that line is going downwards and continuing to do so slowly. This is because we have had so much price discovery, we do not know where the support lines are. Okay, so in my mind, I've got two two minds in my head. I bought some earlier because I was fascinated by the project, and I don't consider this a FOMO because I'm here for the long run, for the, for the next maybe four or five years time bull runs. Okay, for this particular kind of project, I'm not looking at short term gains for this one this year. I want to get involved in staking and the mining and this thing. It's fun. So we're in a sell off uh, period here, which looks to be cooling off in the volume aspect. Uh, so between the 8th of September and the 16th of September, we are currently, guys, trading for those that are listening rather than watching at around 0 0.039. So very much touching on four cents as of recording right now. Uh, it's in a selling momentum still. So when people say, oh, uh, when when do you think it's best to invest in the kind of project? So again, not financial advice, but my opinion is that this is going to accelerate over years. So as of now, this is probably a really good entry point. I'm not saying that this won't go down further because the trend pattern is suggesting it's moving downwards still because we have gone from that one cent mark up to 16. We're now back down to four. There is an argument to say because of the no support levels around here that we could come back and test these levels back to one cent. And then people go, oh, this is a nonsense coin. It's a scam coin, blah, blah, without listening to the fundamentals. So there's two arguments to be had. You could bag some just so you got some right now or you could wait a bit and see if it drops. But of course, it can go up at the same time as we've seen here. You could argue that this development here then increased to a profit take. Did we have a support mechanism here? And what I'll do for the next video, because I didn't want to do too much analysis on this video for the chart, we'll do a fibra chase and we'll do analysis on support levels and key lines. I'll do one in maybe two, three days time. So get yourselves involved in this, this video. Have a think, get involved in the project. If you're interested, watch that next video and we'll go through a bit of the price discovery potential buy, potential sell options, and where we think this is going to go. And we'll use some data from other exchanges, data of historic data um, and variables included as well, where we think it might go this year and what we think over the next five, 10 years. So I want to leave it there. I'm not going to go into massive analysis, like I said, because this video is quite long already. I just wanted to introduce this awesome project, go for a bit of the price information right now. But in my opinion right now, this is a great buy point, irrespective of where it goes back down to one cent or whatever. I just think like, for me, it's long term. That's personal, it's not financial advice. That's my take on it. And I'm happy to get involved in that exchange on the app, get involved in the mining, the staking, while we're still early, you know? These are the kind of projects where you look back at like Crow or KCS or BNB and you go, oh, I wish I got it like two years ago. This is kind of like another opportunity. Uh, in my opinion. So guys, let us know what you think in the comments below. Are you holding clever tokens, KLV, on the exchange? Let us know. Are you, uh, have you used the exchange? Have you downloaded the app? What do you think? I think it's incredible from what I know so far. And I'll go through a bit of review in that in the next video as well. Guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the moon and in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.